Hey guys, I hope you're having a great Friday. Today I have a plan with me in my print Prussian weeks, which I am very excited about. This is one of my new favorite planners and I use it basically every other week. I have gotten several questions on my Instagram and on YouTube about how I juggle seemingly like 50 planners. Um, basically every week I just pick maybe three planners that I want to use. I use one planner for just general life things and everything combined. I have another planner for school and another planner for my business. Some planners I use more than others. I really love the print pressure weeks because it is undated so um, if I skip a week I don't feel too bad about that. Anyways, back to the planning. I'm using a gorgeous foil kit from The Giving Girl and I just put down the date covers. To top each day off, I used some of these header stickers that I made, which are mock-ups of the fall washi pre-sale. And if you guys didn't know, the fall washi pre-sale is happening today and lasting until October 2nd. So if you see any of the designs that you really like, then you can pre-order them up until Wednesday night. Moving on to Monday, I put down an Instagram post icon to mark in that I wanted to announce the washi pre-sale on Instagram and also Facebook. Um, and then I put down this super cool foiled sort of scallop box and I layered on top a bow laptop sticker from Hello Petite Paper to mark in that I wanted to study all afternoon and then underneath I just made a mini checklist of the things that I wanted to study at the library um, and then at the end of the day I wanted to build one of the shelves that I'll be using for my vendor table so I cut up a strip of washi from the kit as a backdrop and then I layered on top this get crafty emoji sticker which I thought was perfect for this project for Tuesday, I put down this adorable silhouette sticker from Willa Willa Co and marked in some things that I wanted to cut up. On Monday, we finished the base of the shelf um, and on Tuesday, I wanted to make some decorations and just go all out. Then I put down this bow divider sticker from the kit and also this sort of quarter box. I layered on top this unicorn sticker from Frank Hearts U that is holding a pen to mark in that I had to continue working on my science fiction essay which is due Monday and I still have not finished. Anyways, for Wednesday I put down this sad bear sticker from Bubba Bear Studios along with an oval sticker from Aria Daydream to mark in that Rosalind left Toronto which was super sad. We basically just ate a ton of food and it was super fun. I then put down this utter chaos emoji to mark in that I just had so many quizzes and vendor prep left to do and I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Um, and then underneath I put down a checklist sticker from the kit along with an edit sticker from Stick With Me Shop and marked in some other things that I had to do. Moving on to Thursday, I knew that I wanted to have sort of a chill night, so I used one of these movie time stickers from my shop to mark in that I wanted to watch the new tall girl movie on Netflix. It was intriguing to me because I think I'm pretty tall, but yeah, that movie was just kind of cheesy. Anyways, I used another one of those quarter boxes along with a celebrating emoji to mark in that we picked up my dad from the airport. Um, he came to visit me. It was actually supposed to be both of my parents, but there was a change of plans and my mom couldn't make it. I'm a little bummed out about that, of course, but um, I will be seeing her this holiday season, so definitely counting down to that. Then I used this super tiny star sticker from the kit to mark in that I wanted to finish up some of the listings. And then I put down a bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts to mark in that I wanted to take my dad around Toronto. For Friday, which is today, I put down a half box sticker along with a heart icon to mark in that the washi and stamp pre-sale starts today at noon. And underneath, I put down a washi strip sticker from the kids along with a The Coffee Monsters Co. new releases sticker which is hand lettered by Randy Plans. I thought it was very fitting and I also layered on top a starry eyed emoji head which is one of my new favorites. I capped off the day with a foil header and I put down a bow sticker from the Fox and Pip along with a library sticker from Happy Daya to mark in that my friends Annie and Helen, she's the one who has the same name as me, um, they will be helping me set up the vendor table. We're going to do the first initial setup tonight and then tomorrow morning before the actual conference I'm going to put up all of the stock so that um, nothing really gets damaged. 
for Saturday, I put down a swearing emoji head to mark in that I wanted to go out running at around 5, which is always not ideal. I honestly don't really like running and I'm not one of those people who can run for like 20 minutes straight, although one day I do hope I can do that. But running really helps just wake me up and get my mind off things. Then I put down a label sticker from the kit along with a mermaid emoji to mark in that the Planners Gonna Plan event is on Saturday, which I'm so excited about. Um, and then after the event, I put down this sort of family eating sticker to mark in that uh, we're probably gonna have dinner with Helen and Annie again. Moving on to Sunday, I made another to-do list for school because Friday is a pre-sale and Saturday is a vendor event. I'm basically going to have two days where I don't really do much schoolwork, so Sunday is really my catch-up day. Then I put down a flag sticker along with a shop owner emoji desk sticker to mark in that I really want to post a photo of my vendor table. Hopefully before the event starts, I can take a really good shot. Then on Sunday to help me get through all of my schoolwork, I am probably going to treat myself to the Starbucks pumpkin cream cold brew. I think that's what it's called. Anyways, then I'm working on the extra box thing which I generally make it a weekly section. I just put down a foiled header along with the habit tracker and I'm just marking in self-care this week and I put down an unplug emoji on top of the habit tracker. I also made a to-do list of some things that I wanted to do and then later on I put down some of the emoji washi at the bottom. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this plan with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me plan in this layout. I have a very busy day ahead of me, so I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!